As crews begin to wrap up their work on the Charlotte fire, families are returning to their homes to see what remains. Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. I'm Todd Blackington. Pocatello Fire Department Deputy Chief Dave Gates says the Charlotte fire is 100% contained as of this morning. Many families who live in the area were given the okay to go back to their homes for good starting last night. Well, this morning was the first time families were able to get a good look at their homes in the daylight. Sasha Zimmerman joins us from the Mink Creek area to show us what's left of the residents' homes. That's right. All that's left is dust, rubble, and the remains of a few cars, as you can see behind me. Throughout the last few days, many families who were evacuated from the Charlotte fire were not aware of whether or not their house had been saved. One family was told by friends and neighbors their house was still standing. But even with the good news, they were sad. In a way, you almost feel just that much more terrible because I knew that the people around us hadn't made it and it really just puts a knot in your throat and makes you feel really sad for the people who didn't make it. Over 15 fire crews and several other agencies worked together to handle the huge fire that broke out Thursday afternoon. We also um, would love to give credit to all of the firefighters and all the crews up here search and rescue at 3 o'clock in the morning noticed that we had a flare up on one of our sheds very close to our house and if it hadn't been for him, our friend Tori Danner, he uh, brought a crew back in and saved our shed so once again saved our house and so we are so thankful for everybody that participated all the crews from all over idaho that came and helped monday is the last day crews will be working on the fire crews have been patrolling the area and taking care of hot spots those who live in the area will need to be very careful as there are still many hazards i mean the only way that we can feel okay about surviving this disaster is by being able to help our friends and neighbors and, and help them pull through too. And so we would be willing to do anything that we can do because we are all a community here. And Pocatello, it, the wonderful thing about living here is all of the people that help and support each other. And that's the only thing that makes it so that we can all pull through. If you or a friend have a story that feel need to be shared, please contact us at www.kpvi.com. Back to you in the studio. Sasha, thanks. The Bannock County Commissioners have already purchased $2,500 worth of grass and wildflower seed to help property owners with the rehabilitation. The seed can be obtained by contacting Pocatello Valley Fire Chief Karen Aguilar to uh, schedule an appointment. Uh, her number right here on the screen, 221-3582.